Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm starting a first in a series of videos about customizing your Mac. This one's going to be very basic, but as we go on, it'll get more and more advanced. Well, not really advanced, just um, more in-depth. So, today I'm going to start off with desktop customization in general, not including the dock, that's something different. Or, so, I'm going to start off here with just wallpaper so that's very easy this you should only this you should know unless you're completely new to the Macintosh platform all you have to do is open up system preferences go to desktop and screensaver and Apple provides you with a bunch of images or you can choose from your iPhoto library and even create your old your own folder so it's easier to organize and once you have a folder selected or a picture you can actually choose to change the picture and you can do this for every 30 minutes or every day, 5 seconds and so on and you have a few other options here like random order, translucent menu bar I like to keep mine opaque and if I go back to my actual picture you can change how it appears on your desktop so you can make it fill the screen, be in the center, or tile it and if for some reason the picture is small and doesn't fill your screen, this is the color, um, this is the fill that you'll see if it doesn't fill your whole screen in the background. You can also change your screensaver. I'm not really going to go over that, but it, Leopard comes with screensavers, or you can download your own and just drag them into here. So that's desktop um, wallpaper and screensaver. Next, I'm going to show you how to customize the way that your icons appear on your desktop. So all you have to do is right click anywhere on your desktop by using a mouse and right clicking. Or if you have a laptop, control click works for Mac. And you can also set up different things in the system preferences. So right click, select show view options, and a small window will come up. You can change your icon size here. Make it really small, really big. The grid spacing, which is how far away the icons actually are from your desktop. The text size, label position. When you first get your Mac, it will be on the bottom, but I prefer to have mine on the right. You can also show the item info, so how many items are in a folder or space in a hard drive, and the preview. So if, that's, if you have a picture, it'll actually show what the picture looks like, same with the movie and arrange by name, size, and so on. So everybody has their own opinions with how big they want their icons to be, so Leopard makes it pretty easy to change that. Next thing I'm going to show you is Finder customization. Yes, you can customize the background of a Finder window. As you see here, my icons look like they're on shelves right now. To do this, all you have to do is right-click in the Finder window, go to Show View Options, and a uh, window similar to the other one will come up. So you can always open an icon view, change your icon size, grid spacing, text size, pretty much everything that you are able to change on your desktop. But you can also change the background. So you can make it white, a certain color, or a picture. The picture I have, I got off the internet. I'll have a link in the description. All you have to do is go to the link that I have in the description over there. And basically, this one guy was really smart and innovative, and he made backgrounds specifically for the finder that look like shelves, as you can see here some previews. All you have to do is download it and then make sure that uh, when you show your view options, make sure your icon size is the largest, grid spacing is the largest. Um, label position is bottom and the background is picture. Click select and you can browse for those pictures. Also make sure you arrange by name. This way if you drag a new folder into the window, no matter what, it'll stay uniform and organized. Last thing for today that I'm going to show you is labels. So pretty simple, you just select your icons go to the file menu and you can change the color of a label for example yellow so now they're yellow also if your icons are all kind of jumbled up like this 
if you right click and click clean up it'll straighten them out for you it kind of guesses where you want them so as you can see it didn't really straighten it out right so put them on a line clean up it moves them around a little more and that's pretty much it for this video so if you like these tips then comment below if you don't comment below don't worry it'll get more advanced for example how to make your stacks look like white in the background with this gradient or the drawers here changing your dock useful applications for customization and so on so that's it thanks for watching and i hope this video wasn't too long